Kaito Kaiko, how are we doing? Hi, I'm Hi. doing really good. You're doing good. How are Do you? you? Need to? I'm very well, thank you. You're, you know, you're the final act tonight. I want to be the final. That's great. Everybody so, can um, go sleep then. Do you need time to set up? I think I have a handyman here, so we can keep talking and he can do the dirty great. work. Great. Well, tell us, tell us about it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, thanks first of all for inviting me here with such, such a short notice. And, uh, yeah, well, basically what I'm, what I'm going to show you is first I'm going to show you a video. And I'm going to tell you a little story. It's not a bedtime story. It's actually a really interesting story. And then, hopefully, if we have a little bit of time, I will also play a little bit of music. And the video, of course, it includes music, but uh, as soon as the handyman is done, I think we can start. So you can put the video when you have a chance. No, no pressure. <laughs> You're doing fine. So, yeah, sound, but not so loud that we can still talk. And I can at the same time start the, start the engines here. So, uh, Instant Live is uh, around six, seven years old uh, concept I've been developing in Berlin since I've been here. And uh, what it's basically do is an uh, interactive uh, music generating machine. And uh, what it does, it generates music of nature forces. For example, I've been working a lot of with nature forces. The Aurora Borealis created music, kind of experimental ambient music. And I've been using the Midnight Sun. As you can start to guess that I come from Finland because you don't have Midnight Sun here. You don't have Aurora Borealis here. If you don't know what they are, please ask me so i tell you more. And, uh, and uh, well, many other things. So basically what I have is a machine that generates music from what we are doing and what I'm doing or what you are doing. So anymore, the musician doesn't have to know how to play music. That's great. Everybody can create music. So the music is coming from you. If you have it in your home, it's like an air purifier. And uh, the music is generated from what you are doing. If you are making a breakfast or having a dinner or talking with a friend or playing with a dog, it will generate music accordingly and, and that's the funny thing that it is it's uh, interactive so people often they realize that hey now I dropped my pencil and the music came from that so they start to actually play with this I played it in uh, Frankfurt in uh, Museum Superfest where it was about 2.5 million visitors I had instant live there for three days thank you for the sound and, uh, and uh, there was uh, this kind of setup and people were, yeah, if we can have it a little bit down, just a little bit, just not so much. Thank you. I'm really picky because I'm finished. So, thank you. Um, okay. So I don't, I, I think we can go a little bit straight to the video. So this project is called uh, Interactive Sibelius. If you know, musician, a couple of years ago, maybe 150 years ago, born, John Sibelius from Finland also. Fellow countrymen have to support each other. So this is an interactive Sibelius where I was walking in the Tiergarden in Berlin with my machine. So I can capture video, audio, everything and uh, based on what I was doing, it generated music also using the Sibelius component, Sibelius melody. So if you are really high-tech Sibelius fanatic, I think we have some Sibelius freaks in the house. I don't know where they are now, but, but I heard, I saw them. So you can even hear from the melodies that yes, there is a small piece of Sibelius there. And there is zero piece of me there because 
rest of the music is generated, what is happening in the nature, what is birds are doing, what the people are doing, the traffic, everything, the light can affect. If it's really dark, it will change the music. So, okay, now I made another presentation with the Charité Hospital in Berlin, very big, big hospital. They had a long night of science in the heart surgery hospital and there we had a project uh, with the Ecuadorian Pablo Rojas where he was he captured live bacteria live DNA he has this from his pocket because he is a scientist and the idea was to make music or actually put the bacteria to make music so we ended up playing music with uh, DNA and the doctors came in and they could see the bacteria projected on the wall and they could hear the bacteria playing music. And the concept was that in the future, in a couple of years, when I work a little bit harder and can buy a new computer, I can develop it further. So the doctors, they don't have to trust only on their eyes. They don't have to just look like, they are all, the bacteria if you've seen, they all look the same. It's like sperm, just running around. So it's really hard from my perspective to say what the hell they are doing. So with the sounds, what they are doing, if they are really lazy, the music is really calm. But if they are fighting there, if they are moving around, they are destroying something, then the music will react. And then you can just listen, you can go read a magazine and when the bacteria start to wake up or die, because they don't last very long, maybe 24 hours, so then you can hear what, what is going on and um, that show was like a half a year ago and it lasted maybe six hours the whole event and uh, that was the thing that I need to just set up the machine and um, then I don't need to make music anymore so I can actually go just outside the stage Doctors are still there, music is still playing, and I can go and disappear and buy beer. How cool is that for a live musician? Hello, sir. Can you have a beer with them? Okay. Thank you, sir. So, so the thing is that my show is still on. Thank you, sir. And. Uh, during the hospital event, I went for a bar, met a friend, had a snack, came back. Nobody noticed anything because the music was still playing. I hope I can drink beer in TV because my mouth is getting a little bit lazy. Thank you. I would like to drink water, but the water in Berlin is not really, really, really tasty. Okay. So now I will try to start the machine and this means that then you're gonna make the music. So this video is just an introduction that what kind of things I've done, many other things. I've been working with painters, with poets, so people can read a poem and then comes the music based on that also utilizing the power of the poetry or a painter with different colors and atmosphere and it also when the painter knows that um, when the painter knows that uh, his or her painting is actually generating music he or she will get more inspired and paint more or paint differently so it's like a feedback channel ah, i think with the machine is already on now I think the video is going to stop soon, so I don't know, if you want we can keep on talking how long we have time, I don't know, maybe 5-10 minutes, but uh, I think we can try to start it, video can still go on.
Ah, the cable is not really well connected. Okay. So, let's get it on. Okay. So it takes, so it's not so, you know, one on one thing that it will react immediately if I fart. Of course, because then the music would go really like up and down, up and down, and changing all the time. So there has to be some logic. So I developed the machine that uh, basically there's a logic between what we are doing here and what comes out. I'm using really standard software in the instrument part, so you don't have to buy anything new. You can use Ableton Live, Logic, Fruity Loops, whatever whatever you happen to have. So my machine is between the microphone or camera or whatever. And then you just plug it into your studio and then comes music. Uh, and what I'm gonna do next, I want to put this on an iPhone or another phone, if you have. And uh, then you can take it on your coffee table, on your toilet and interact with the music, take a bath, and then the music will be a little bit more ambient. You can also, if your girlfriend, your boyfriend is out of town, she has the same application, you can both put them on, and then you share the same music. Remember when you used to use phones to call your girlfriend like, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I miss you too. And then there's this long silence because nobody wants to hang up this like, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. So this, we can change it to music. You, it, you can think that you are in the same room. You are in the same bed. You can leave it on your table and you can just sleep and you are in the same music landscape. So that's why, that's how you are connected. Um, other thing is what I want to do with this is to sell it to all the restaurants all the bars would necessarily don't want to play music, but they want, they have to play music or galleries because they pay or taxes. They pay, I don't know, 20, 50, 100 euros per week, per day for licenses just to play radio really quietly. People don't even hear it, but they have to pay it. And if the restaurant is really silent, people are not happy. So there is music, radio, but they're going to pay a lot about it. So why not put this into the gallery and then when people come they look at the painting they start to talk about the painting the painting starts to play music based on what you are doing so if you are like shit this is really really beautiful painting then the music will be really nice if you say something bad like nah i don't like it then the music goes really aggressive so then you have to be really nice with the paintings too or in the restaurant to the waiters so I don't know, I, this is just the tip of the iceberg, what I've been telling you now. I wish I would have a whole day to talk with you and tell more about this, but uh, I have a couple of phone numbers here. Come pick them up after the show and uh, we can talk more or here I can stick around. I just live a few blocks away behind Mauer Park, so come visit me and we can talk more what we can do with this machine. I think if... Uh, you are happy, I'm happy. How is the timing? We're very happy. Um, am I right in understanding that you have a set up to... Ah, hello, here we go. Yeah. Am I right in thinking that you have this set up so that we can actually sonify this room using your machine? Yeah, everybody. Can, can you too. So you are generating music now. This is, this is the music that we're generating yeah, now. I have could to, I, I I have I to pay... Could I please ask everybody who's currently sitting around to stand up and move around? Because I want to hear what happens. That's a good idea. Please. Just if you're sitting down, stand up. If you're standing still, move around. Let's change the music. This is this music that we're generating right now. I think the best way to do it is also start singing. If you can make any kind of noise, if you can clap your hands, put beer bottles, do whatever, you know.
Thank you very much. Thank you, Jana. Yeah.